All right, uh, welcome back. Uh, my name is David Gawler. I've got seven years uh, corporate IT experience, uh, fully certified in Microsoft Linux, Lotus, uh, Unix. Uh, got an interest in VMware certification later this year and the Mile 2 certification, which is a security um, certification as well. Uh, I've also got a uh, Microsoft uh, certified professional and um, MCSE as well, as so looking to finish those um, exams and updating those to the uh, Microsoft uh, Windows 2008 server uh, release 2 uh, later this year. But for now, it's, uh, I'm going to run through a brief uh, video presentation on on our uh, I guess MMAP uh, remote terminal uh, CentOS uh, Red Hat. I'm running uh, enterprise uh, system. So if we log into our uh, terminal server, which is our remote access uh, 113 IP address, and we can type in our SSH login ID, which is the root, our admin administration account, and just our password as well. And now I can bring up our root directory, go cd space slash forward uh, mmap N -A -N -M -A -P space a or go for a double V actually, uh, double reverse mode. So this will allow you to uh, get extra information about the server that you're uh, scanning or hosts that you're scanning. And a bit of luck, um, it will pick something up. A dash A I believe is scanned for a OS version. Uh, it will try and detect what uh, operating system you're using, like Windows uh, 7, or Windows Vista, or um, anything else that's in there. Uh, also, I use commonly use the dash pn uh, pn uh, command switch. Uh, I guess it's for uh, connectionless space uh, scanning. So it already assumes that you're going to connect, and the IP address is turned on and valid. Uh, it'll connect even without checking. I guess that's a good way to um, explain that. Uh, but if we go mmap space double v space uh, space a space dash pn, and we can just type in our domain name as well. So I'm going to turn up the uh, IP address, which is the printer address, I believe, on my network. Uh, 10.0.0.1 I believe and that's the IP address of my printer so this is going to scan and pick up whatever is possible uh, ports uh, operating system version and other uh, useful information about the printer and a bit of luck then we can determine what this IP address is attached to uh, so we're scanning our mmap dash double v uh, dash capital A space dash capital P N space 10.0.0.1 and this will scan double reverse mode detect operating system in a connectionless already assumed that it's connected mode uh, press enter on this in the Linux uh, Red Hat uh, Enterprise version and as you can see it's uh, starting the scan and trying to scan every port on 10.0.0.1 uh, thousand ports is trying to scan. If you wanted to uh, scan multiple ports, uh, for example, you could just use the, oh sorry, um, all the ports on the network, uh, 65,000 odd ports that are available on the network ports uh, list. Uh, if you just uh, use dash p dash and um, this will scan every port every network port that's available on the network as a um, as a scan and basically scan from port 0 to through to port uh, 65,000 which could take a very long time and in most times I've found that your uh, network actually blocks it or um, just times out because simply it, because it takes too long or you lose interest sometimes um, but you can write it out to a file and just leave it running uh, for a few hours in the afternoon or overnight so it really depends on how patient you are and really what you want to find on the network but generally the common ports uh, from port 0 to port uh, 1024 so I guess it really de really depends on your patients and what, what really you're looking for on the network um, some of the assumed ports are I guess uh, port 21 for an FTP uh, port 25 which is for mail, uh, 110 is uh, 
mail again with the for POP3. Uh, if you go to, to port 23, for example, that would be a secure shell SSH, uh, for example. Um, but there's a lot of other uh, ports on there, so just really, def and I guess the most um, commonly used one is uh, port 80, which is a web server. So pretty much if you can see a port 80 web port on the network or on the host, I should say, you should be able to pretty safe to bet that that's going to be a web server, um, as in HTTP, uh, colon, double slash board, uh, website, uh, domain name, for example, but it'll it'll eventually be a port, hopefully, running the a web server, either IIS, which is a Microsoft uh, solution, or um, Linux, Unix, uh, uh, I guess it's Apache now. Uh, but it's still scanning on my um, network, so scanning 10.0.0.1 ports and sometimes it can take a fair while so sometimes it even times out depending on, or it looks like it's timed out but if you let it sit there it is going to find uh, something and something better than nothing when it uh, tries to locate the number of ports, but it's certainly trying to locate the port numbers that are available. It just basically says uh, completing um, or trying to complete a host uh, scan, which has got one host up, and it's recognised that this uh, port is or host IP address is up, and it's trying to still locate the number of ports that are. Open on this host. Uh, so we're going to um, stop this for a while and uh, let it scan. Then I'll come back to you on the next video and uh, we'll continue on um, doing a brief presentation on trying to gain access as into the brute force brute force uh, method and trying to guess uh, password guessing, I guess, and dictionary attacks. And all um, sort of the hands-on stuff that's really exciting in this kind of uh, field because it's, um, you're actually doing part of the theory in practice instead of just um, reading a bunch of uh, technical stuff. But it's good to know the foundations and the uh, technical side as well. So let's see what we can do with the... Uh, MMAP scan, we're trying to perform on our network. It's still scanning to our uh, port numbers. Uh, it hasn't actually uh, found anything yet, so I'm going to come back in a brief moment and we're going to check out our port scan list and see what it's find or found, then we can um, do further investigation into our ports and see what they are. Uh, back in a moment and hope to hear from you soon. Thanks for viewing. Have a nice day.